two plus two. Bye. My name is Kim Assistant and now I'm gonna teach you how to install and install the software. So let's start. Hit me with the horn! <clears throat> For now, the Rikova is now in now in our folder. So click right click and open or just double click. Click yes. Okay, we are here. Recuva. To install the Recuva version 1.53 setup, click the install or customize. Customize to check or uncheck your recommended. To install. I click install. Okay, for now on, Arakuba is now it's already installed. Here you can run Arakuba or you can run your software that you installed. For now, your Arakuba is installed or your software is installed. Thank you for watching. Hit me with the okay, horn! For now, we're going to uninstall your selected software. First, click the start button and click for the control panel. Simply select your Recuba software or your selected software and click install. As you can see, the, the Recuba or the, your software is now installed. Thank you for watching. This topic will teach you how to install and uninstall a hardware or device. Open device manager and then double click the type of device that you want to uninstall. Now I will choose the DVD. Double click and then right click the specific device you want and then click uninstall you can also double click the device and then on the driver tab click uninstall and right click in the confirm device removal page select delete the driver software for this device if you also want to remove the device driver package from the driver store the delete driver software for this device option removes the package from the driver store. It does not remove. Now, currently install driver for any older driver. If you remove the driver from this store and the device connected to the computer again, Windows must search for the copy of the driver package in its standard search station. Step 2. Take out the screws on the back of the tower. Take out the panel. Then wear an static twist strap to protect components by working your static electricity and then take out the motherboard plate. Take 3. The motherboard and screw it on the motherboard plate then slide it back into the case. Firmly insert RAM random access memory. That's the main thing of RAM. Sticks into the long and narrow slots usually located at the top right of the motherboard. Step 5. Carefully place the CPU into the socket that is square shaped and in the motherboard, then place the 